I'm excited to share that Zform now has transparency functionality. In the bottom right, there's a new use transparency option. So when it's toggled on, that will enable transparency. And when it's toggled off, it will ignore transparency. To show you how it works, I'm gonna delete everything in this scene and then open up a new image. Let's use the tiger for this example. It will automatically default to use transparency. Then find your corresponding depth map so this is the depth map, then just click apply depth map. And you got yourself your 3D mesh. If you haven't watched some of my other videos, I'll explain a little bit how it works. I'm using a 2D image and the depth map and converting it to a 3D mesh. The 2D image is on the left hand side here. I generated this using Midjourney, and then the depth map on the right side. I created this depth map with my own tool. It's called Depth Map Batch. It's a Blender add-on where you can create depth maps for a directory of images, a video file, or a single file. It's run entirely locally, no APIs, no web services. But you can also generate depth maps online for free if you upload one at a time or set something up locally in something like ComfyUI. However, I wanted to keep my workflow within Blender and that's why I created the tool. Next is the modifiers used in Blender to generate the 3D mesh. Let me expand out the right side with the modifiers. Subdivision with the value of eight for this example. Displace, and this is where you reference your depth map. Smooth and solidify. You'll notice I'm working in a tool in the side panel. And that's actually my other tool, it's called Zform. It does exactly the same thing what's done on the right side in the modifiers tab. But instead of doing multiple steps and typing and clicking here, I can just do everything in three simple steps here. There's one other important thing I want to note is for the transparency to actually work, you need to make sure that your original image is in RGBA format where it has the alpha. If it's just RGB, it's not going to remove any of the transparency. If you have any questions about my tools, feel free to reach out to me on Blender Market. There's a contact creator button if you go to my homepage. Okay. That's all I got.